Hello there and welcome to the new Tableau tutorial and in this Tableau tutorial I want to share with you one of the amazing workbook created by Shimdi Nyogusu uh, for the TFF presentation and this is a very critical subject about five design overhauls to improve business dashboard because this is something very useful for the beginner who start creating the dashboard and create a dashboard something like this right uh, this is how we have all have started um, as to how we have created our very first dashboard or maybe 8th or 10th dashboard after some improvement, right? And then what he is showing is if you follow the approaches, right, Im design, improving the design approaches, then you can convert this dashboard to something like this dashboard. If you see, if you compare side by side, this is much more elegant, properly presented, you know, properly spaces and, you know, all the design related principles are properly covered over here. So I really liked it, right? Something I would always keep it uh, as, as a handbook or as a bookmark uh, to really, you know, whenever I need some sort of a design thought process, design thinking, design guidance, you know, this, this will be my go-to workbook. What it has is basically five different designs, right? Five designs overalls to improve business dashboard. So this is something which was created for TFF presentation. I'm pretty sure T is for Tableau over here, but I really don't know what the, what is uh, entirely TFF means, but probably I will search and, and maybe write it in the description once I search about that. So whole idea is how you can, how you can uh, do this. So I, I'm just showing you uh, this, this, uh, you know, from right from the start, the, the design principles, which is being shared here. Also the link of the dashboard or link of this book is present in the description. That way you can go and, uh, and basically play with this dashboard, bookmark for yourself. And, you know, even share it with others, like I'm sharing it with you, share with others uh, who are your fellow developers so that, you know, you have good, good looking dashboards in your organization. Also, if you want to learn how you can, you know, uh, create such dashboard, because here what we are talking about the design principles, but if you are really struggling with how to implement these principles into a practical dashboard, you can even join my training. So I give a, a Tableau workshop or a Tableau training where I cover 10 different industries dashboards as to how you can apply uh, the design skills, the Tableau calculation skills, the parameter skills, action skills, container skills, all of that in one single workshop and 10 dashboards so that after the end of the workshop, you have everything that you need to uh, to create a good looking advanced dashboard right so with that let's go ahead and show sh let me show you uh, the principle number one so i clicked on the start so again good functionality right let me just click it i think it was uh, session was expired so this is something which he has shown what is our first uh, how initial design really looks like right uh, for the sales dashboard, you have filters, you have home icon to go back to the home for this presentation. But this is how it looks like. Now let's click on next and see uh, what's the first design principle is apply white space, refer to the amount of space around and between objects, right? Uh, white is beneficial, white space introduce harmony and balance into the design. It makes it easy for eyes to see what's in front of it. Improve the processing of visual information and guide the user to next item. Cannot emphasize enough like how much it is important that you properly put white spaces around and among the or in between or among the different objects that you have. Plenty of white space around the chart helps the audience focus, thus improving the dashboard. Uh, readability, how to execute, create simple and uncluttered dashboard that deliver information clearly by leveraging inner and outer padding, very, very critical right inner and outer padding make sure you make do a practice to really understand what happens with inner padding inner padding and what happens with outer padding in the layout pane of dashboard right so inner padding add more spaces around the chart in the worksheet outer padding adds more space around the actual worksheet right so make sure you practice or you you uh, play with it to really uh, see see it in action 
Now let's view the dashboard with white space. Now if you see from previous dashboard to this dashboard, there is a proper white space that has been around this uh, the the sheet and outer side if you see and now it looks like a little bit much better as compared to the previous one where all your icons uh, or sorry all of your objects was pretty near to each other right now let me click click on next and sh show you the next design principle the second one ensure proper text use this cover proper use of title subtitle label and appropriate application of text hierarchy like what should be your main dashboard title? What should be the chart title? All the other subtitles, general text, the chart labels, access labels and annotation, right? So why it is beneficial is because descriptive titles and subtitles gives you a better understanding of what is shown. I cannot emphasize like for business dashboard, how much important it is that you give proper information about the metric, the, the objective of the metric, what it does, right? And how to execute, generally speaking, larger and bolder text element will catch the eye more quickly than smaller and less prominent text element. So three design principles which is given here, avoid generic dashboard titles like just a sales dashboard, you know, maybe something like uh, sales dashboard, the, the product sales dashboard or geo sales dashboard, sales dashboard, um, sales dashboard for uh, competitor analysis, something like, you know, which, which is give it, which it gives some additional context. Remember to use uh, text to enhance understanding the text, enhance understanding like titles, annotation, labels, etc. And use the hierarchy below as a guidance, right? Now let's see this dashboard updated with this. So if you see, this is a bigger text, this is a smaller text. Title is further smaller, even over here, further smaller, right? So start giving it a good look. Now let's move on to the next. Evaluate chart choices. This cover proper chart evaluation and selection when developing our dashboard why it is beneficial by using proper chart choices in the right context. We can better communicate our story in a way that is easy for audience to understand. How to execute certain chart choices. Chart choices communicate uh, specific method better. It means white while a label while a table makes it difficult to see trends a line chart quickly shows trends and changes over time, right? So here two links are present, which you can see visual vocab uh, for uh, from uh, which is present in the Tableau public created by Andy Cribble, one of the very uh, Tableau Zen master and he also has a Tableau uh, blog. So make sure you check it out. Even I have learned a lot from Andy. Uh, and then you have the chart uh, suggestion uh, guide, right? This is also you can look at it. Uh, it's from a different user um, That that is something will be useful as to what chart to pick when you need it Let's see now view dashboard with updated charts. Okay, so you see that The updated charts or charts over here even charts over here with some alignment still not looking very very good But at least you know even the text is is pretty much uh, crazy right now over here uh, sometimes it happens because once you upload it on the Tableau workbook, it changes the chart, the the formatting. So make sure when you upload it on the on the server, you know the title and everything should reflect the correct information. All right, let's move on to the next design, tip, which is I believe the fourth one. Uh, use color purposefully. Very very important, right? Um, you should you should be very strategic, like it is mentioned. Uh, this covers strategic use of color to draw audience attention to insights into our data. Humans are very perceptive to color. We can leverage this fact by using color to grab attention and direct it where we want it to go, right? How to execute color non-hydrated data points primarily neutral color. Like for example, you want to highlight the current month with a specific color like a dark color, but rest other months maybe with gray color so that basically indicates that you are highlighting or you want to show the current month performance right whereas the historical months is for comparison per perspective use the catchy colors for highlight key insights or calling attention to a specific data we, we use when needed and not just because you can use color consistently throughout dashboard and some information about categorical uh, color palette use when you have different unrelated data sequential use one color to show sequential values on a continuous scales 
diverging color palette uses two usually contrasting color to show negative and positive values. For more information on color to use, here is the detailed guide to color in data viz and viz style guide by data wrapper blog, right? So now let's see the dashboard with the updated color, right? So now you can see you have the colors over here, the gray line, but uh, this is the highest, this is the lowest point indicating the, the dots are indicating that. And then these colors over here, right? So, and then trend, no color, just, just quickly about the trend. And finally, the top performer where you have highlighted the top one with the purple color and rest other in gray color, right? So that is something you have it uh, when you use the efficient, when you have the efficient use of colors. Let's move on to the next one, which is, I believe, the final one, final one, eliminate noise from the dashboard. This covers the elimination of distraction and anything that serves no purpose on the dashboard. Why it is beneficial? Well, eliminating noise from the dashboard keeps the user focused on what's essential, how to execute. Well, remove all the borders, grid lines, axes, labels that are not essential and you run through the dashboard from start to finish and define every visible component exists on it. If you want to stay, say why it's there, then it shouldn't be there, right? So a good question to ask. So it's easy to overwhelm audience when in doubt, generally better to have a little showing than too much. Now let's see the final dashboard after applying all of these techniques. And that's what we got, right? So if you compare what we had initially compared to what we have right now, it's, it's probably an improvement. I would say close to 80 to 90%, if not hundred percent, you know, if you are an advanced user, you're feeling it, Hey, what's really going on with these, right? What, why this one is big? Or why this one is big right that's why I'm, I'm keeping it like close to 70 to 80 percent by applying all the colors white spacing and removing the uh, noise and everything right even the noise i can see some grid lines is present here which needs to be removed right even in this well in this case because these are different categories however in this case probably you don't need it because anyway you are highlighting first thing is this then average gives you an indication like where where it is of what these values are which you are dealing with so that's a lot of improvement right so let's go back to the home and and just see from this to this in five steps so make sure you use it link is present in the description play around with this look at the various links which is present in this workbook and get your dashboard skills to next level with that thank you so much for watching i'll meet you in the next video with some new topic